I would like to introduce Sue Katzen, Associate Publisher, Cosmopolitan Magazine, the Hearst Corporation, and our official media sponsor. Sue? At Cosmo, we truly believe in the power of fragrance. Our 18 million readers know there's no better way to lift your mood, captivate your man, or make a strong personal statement than with a fabulous fragrance. And now I'd like to turn the show over to our wonderful host, backed by popular demand, is Lauren Glassberg. We'd like to welcome her, the lifestyle reporter and fill-in anchor at Eyewitness News, WABC TV. Uh, I was uh, told by a gentleman at my table that Charlie Sheen is staying just uh, over there at the Trump uh, Hotel. So if it gets a little boring here, just direct your attention there. And I will say, if um, I find out that there is an O de she next year, I'm not coming back. <laughs> so good morning, everyone. I say that we dive right in because there are lots of awards to hand out today. The first award we'll be presenting is for men's fragrance coverage and recognizes the best editorial article. And the top five finalists for editorial excellence in fragrance coverage, men's, are... Brides Magazine, Scent of a Man, September 2010. Uh, Safflebon, how's my French? Safflebon. Bon. Oui, comme ça? Okay. Fragrance Review, Creed Aventus, The Life of Napoleon from Top to Base Notes, June 28, 2010. Elle Magazine, Picking Up His Scent, December 2010. GQ Magazine and Grooming, September 2010, and Marie Claire Magazine, Making Sense for Men, October 2010. And we have a tie. Elle Magazine, Picking Up His Scent, and Marie Claire Magazine, Making Sense for Men. Congratulations. The next award is for Women's Scent Bite, which recognizes the best short article of 250 to 500 words, and the top five finalists for editorial excellence in fragrance Coverage Women Scent Bite are Allure Creme Fresh, May 2010, Elle Magazine Mix Masters, 2010, September, Glamour Magazine Mmm, You Smell Good, November 2010, Marie Claire Gender Benders, January 2010, and Seventeen Magazine Love at First Scent, November of 2010. And the winner of the 2011 Fifi Awards for Editorial Excellence in Fragrance Coverage, Women's Scent Bite is Elle Magazine, Mix Masters. <laughs> Next we present the award for the Fragrance Blog category and the top five finalists for Editorial Excellence in Fragrance Coverage Blog are Allure.com, The Easiest Way to Get Happy with a Spritz, The Daily Beauty Reporter, December 23rd, 2010. Safle Bon Colette, the olfactory novelist and goddess of the senses, June 7, 2010. Safle Bon, is there a little black dress in your fragrance wardrobe, October 25, 2010. Safle Bon, visualizing the invisible, the scented world with Michael Rudnitska. Thank you. April 26, 2010, and L.com, and O of Your Own, October 2010. And the winner of the 2011 Fifi Award for Editorial Excellence in Fragrance Coverage blog is L.com, and O of Our Own. For Women's Scent Feature, the nominees are Allure, Poetic License, September 2010. Elle Magazine, As You Like It, November 2010. Harper's Bazaar, Which Scents Suit Your Style, December 2010. Marie Claire, My Chemical Romance, May 2010. And Self Magazine, Eat, Spray, Love, September 2010. And the winner of that category, Women's Scent Feature, is Allure, Poetic Lessons. We're going to move on to the technological breakthrough of the year, which recognizes cutting edge technological innovation that demonstrates excellence in concept, function, as well as industry and consumer benefits. There are two entries for technological breakthrough of the year in fragrance creation and formulation Robert Tate Fragrances, Inc., Seed to Scent, and Takasago International, Hypnata. And the winner of the 2011 Fifi Award for Technological Breakthrough of the Year in Fragrance Creation and Formulation is 
Rubber Tape Fragrances C to Z. The second award for Technological Breakthrough of the Year is for Packaging Technology and Delivery Systems, and we had three entries in this category. They were Clarence Fragrance Group, Womanity by Terry Muther, Muther, Sustainable Packaging, Donna Karen Cosmetics, Pure DKNY Scent Spray, Sustainable Packaging, and International Flavors and Fragrances Inc., Redkin Radiant Sea Spray, uh, that's Charlie Sheen called. <laughs> IFF's encapsulation technology used for the first time in personal care. And the winner of the 2011 Fifi Award for Technological Breakthrough of the Year in Packaging Technology and Delivery System is International Flavors and Fragrances, Redkin Radiant Sea Spray. And the final award is Information Technology, and there were three entries in this category, and they were Arcade Marketing Inc., Eye Sampling Portal, Furmanish Inc., Osmo's iPhone app, and Jibadon Fragrances for Eye Perfumer powered by Jibadon. And the winner of the 2011 Fifi Award for Technological Breakthrough of the Year in Information Technology is Furmanish Osmos iPhone. And now I'm going to get a little help announcing the finalists from the sponsors of this event. So please welcome Larissa Jensen, Senior Category Specialist, the NPD Group. The top five finalists for Bath and Body Line of the Year are Balenciaga Black and White Collection, Cody Prestige, Clean Bath and Body Line by Clean. Coco Mademoiselle Bath Essentials, Chanel. Peace Love and Juicy Couture, Elizabeth Arden. Pretty and Pure, Pink, Victoria's Secret. For the next category, please welcome Joelle Grudalia, VP Marketing and Creative Phallic Fashion Group. And the top five finalists for the Renaissance Collection of the year are Annick Goudal, Noël Collection Canons, Anon Spray, Beauté Prestige International. Anthropologie, le Labo Candle Collection Interparfum USA, Quackery and Evelyn, Iris, Quackery and Evelyn, Jonathan Adler, Happy Chic, The Messago for Jonathan Adler, Ulta Moon Fragrance Collection, Nest Fragrances. For our next category, please welcome Annick Klein, president of KX Associates, representing Lookspec. The top five finalists for the best packaging of the year, Lux Women are. Aqua di Gioia by Giorgio Armani, Gucci Guilty by PNG Prestige, Lady Million by Paco Rabanne Push USA, Love and Tears Surrender by Killian, Pure DKNY by Donna Karen Fragrance, Voyage d'Hermès by Beauty Prestige International. The top five finalists for best packaging of the year Lux Man or Bleu de Chanel by Chanel, John Barbeto's 10th Anniversary Limited Edition, I'm sorry, 3rd Anniversary Limited Edition by Elizabeth Arden, Marc Jacob's Bang by Coty Prestige, The Big Pony Collection 1, 2, 3, and 4 by Florian Fragrance, Voyage d'Hermès by Beauty Prestige International. The top five finalists for best packaging of the year, Gold Appeal Woman, are due to a tie, there are six top finalists. We have Avril Lavigne, Forbidden Rose by PNG Prestige, Bob Shell by Victoria's Secret, Eva by Eva Longoria, Felic Fashion Group, Ali by Ali Berry, Pure Orchid by Coty. Maria Carey's Lollipop Bling Fragrance Collection, Elizabeth Arden, Outspoken by Fergie, Avon Products. Finally, the top five finalists, best packaging of the year, Bold Appeal for Men, are Banana Republic, a Republic of Men Essence Eau de Toilette, Interparfum USA, Gap Pour Eau de Toilette, Interparfum USA, Hermé Léger Homme, Avon product, Macro Silver by Coty, Samba Sunman, the Perfumer Workshop International. Now please welcome Deborah uh, Leapin Yale, president of Arcade Marketing. 
I'm announcing the finalists for the best media campaign, men and women. And the top five finalists for the best media campaign, women's, are, due to a tie, we have six finalists. Aqua de Joya, Giorgio Armani, Beyonce Heat, Cody, Boyfriend, Boyfriend LLC, Gucci Guilty, PNG Prestige, My Life by Mary J. Blige, Carol's Daughter, and Pure DKNY, Donna Karen Cosmetics. And now the top finalists for Best Media Campaign Men's are Lou de Chanel, Chanel, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Forum, B&G Prestige, Mark Jacobs Bang, Cody Prestige, The Big Pony Collection, one, two, three, and four, Ralph Lauren Fragrances, and Voyage Hermes, Gauté Prestige International. And now please welcome Sherazad Shalom, Shamalou, Vice President of Sales and Marketing, Perfumery Division, SGD, North America. And the top five finalists for Perfume Extraordinaire are Gauté Prestige International, Drum Fragrances International, Givaudan, International Flavors and Fragrances, Takasago. Now we begin by welcoming Jerry Vittoria, President of Fine Fragrances North America for Manish. I am presenting finalists for the Fragrance of the Year Specialty Brand, Men's Canada. And the top five finalists are Banana Republic, Republic of Men Essence, Eau de Toilette, Interparfum, Bath and Body Works, Signature Collection for Men Ocean, Bath and Body Works, Bath and Body Works, Signature Collection for Men Twilight Woods, Bath and Body Works, and Gap Core, Eau de Toilette, Interparfum, USA. Next, please welcome Megan of Abbott, uh, Account Executive Five Fragrances of Mom. I'm presenting the finalists for the Fragrance of the Year Specialty Brand Women's Category. Anthropology for the creators of Le Lago, Eau de Parfum Collection, Interparfums USA. Anthropology, Happenstance Perfumers, 1842, Rosa Alba, Eau de Parfum, Interparfums USA. Bath and Body Works Signature Collection, Dark Kiss, Bath and Body Works. Bombshell, Victoria's Secret. Brooks Brothers, Madison, Eau de Parfum, Interparfums USA, and Iris, Crabtree, and Evelyn. Our next presenter will be Kareen Schnapp, Vice President of Brand Development and Creative for Victoria's Secret Beauty. Victoria's Secret Beauty. Um, I'm here to present the finalists for the Fragrance of the Year, Broad Appeal in the Men's Category, and the top five finalists are Antonio Banderas, The Secret, Puig USA, Hervé Le Géon, Avon Products, McGraw Silver, Cody, Samba Sunman, the Perfumers Workshop International. Next, please welcome Lionel Uzan, Senior Director of Marketing and Sales Promotion for Clarence Fragrance Group. Lionel. Good morning, everyone. I'm happy to present the finalists for the Fragrance of the Year, Broad Appeal Women's Category, which our finalists are Eva by Eva Longoya, Phallic Fashion Group, Flirt Rock and Rubble, Beauty Bank, Hell by Hell Berry, Pure Orchid, Cody. S by Shakira, Push USA, Some Boston Women, the Perfumers Workshop International. Now our next category presenter, Ava Wang, Senior Vice President, U.S. Marketing, Cody Prestige. Good morning, everyone. So I have the pleasure of presenting um, finalists for the Fragrance of the Year Direct to Consumer. Boyfriend by Boyfriend, My Life by Mary J. Blige, Carol's Daughter, Outspoken by Fergie, Avon Products, and So Let's Theater by Yves Rocher, North America. Now for our next category presenter, Camille McDonald, President of Brand Development and Merchandising at Bath & Body Works. So, I am presenting the finalists for Fragrance of the Year Specialty Lux, Men's Category, and the top five finalists are Bond No. 9, Cooper Square, from Bond No. 9, New York, One Million, by Paco Rabanne, Pouge, USA, Prada Infusion, de Vetiver, Huge USA, Tom Ford Azure Lime, Tom Ford Beauty, and Victoria Knox Snow Power, Victoria Knox Swiss Army. Now please welcome Lorenzo Cavallero, Vice President of Sales North America International Flavors and Fragrances. Good morning. I'm presenting the finalists for the Fragrance of the Year Specialty Lux Women's Category. Balenciaga Paris, Cody Prestige, Belle Belpium, Yves Saint Laurent, Jadot Allure, Parfum 
Holmes, Christie and Dior, Lady Million by Paco Rabanne, Fuji USA, Prada Infusion, The Two Bros, Fuji USA, and Tom Ford, Azure Wine, Tom Ford. Yeah. And now our next presenter will be Kate Reed, Vice President of Marketing, Juvedon Fragrance. I'm very happy to present the finalists for Fragrance of the Year, Indie Brand, and the top five finalists are Candide Perfume Women's Atelier Perfumes, Honey Blossom Perfume Women's Atelier Perfumes, Lumiere Eau de Parfum Women's Atelier Perfumes, and Six Sense Perfume Series 3 Unisex Six Sense Perfume. Our next presenter will be Doreen Booker, Senior Director of Fine Fragrance Marketing for Simrise. I'm presenting the finalists for Fragrance of the Year Lux Men's Category, and the top five finalists are Bleu de Chanel by Chanel, Dolce Gabbana The One Gentleman, P&G Prestige, Marc Jacobs Bang, Cody Prestige, The Big Pony Collection, One, Two, Three, and Four, Ralph Lauren Fragrances, and Voyage d'Hermes, Beauté Prestige International. And now to our final Fragrance of the Year category, please welcome back Cosmopolitan's Sue Katzen. I am presenting finalists for the Fragrance of the Year, Lux, Women's Category. The finalists are Aqua de Joya, Giorgio Armani, Chance Autendre, Chanel, Gucci Guilty, P&G Prestige, Pure DKNY, Donna Karen Cosmetics, Voyage d'Hermes, Beauté Prestige International. So congratulations to all of the finalists and thank you to all of our presenters.